coping with a life-changing accident. But just months after a catastrophic injury, he's inspiring others. Fox 5's Beth Parker has his story. 19-year-old Wesley Hughes can handle pretty much anything that comes his way. Back on January 11th, he was racing down a slope with his college ski team when he ran off the trail. I saw that I was going to go off, and it like almost like time froze. And then it was just like fast, fast. He broke bones, severed the main artery in his left leg, and lost a lot of blood. I came really close to dying that day, and I was really thankful that someone was there as quick as they were. As he lay there in the snow, he assumed the doctors would just fix it. They couldn't. Instead, they amputated his leg. I have been the adventurous type of person and always wanting to do this and that, and I'm, I'm just taking this like a new challenge and learning how to do everything I can again. Three and a half weeks after his accident, Wes was already walking on a prosthesis. Each little thing that's happened, um, whether it be my first steps on a prosthesis or um, being able to run for the first time or play basketball, just doing every little thing is like such a self-motivation and it gives you so much self-confidence and joy that it's like, there's no reason to feel depressed about it. He's posted his progress on YouTube and strangers message him for advice. I just wanted to get back to normal as quick as possible and just go on with my life. And the fact that I am an inspiration is great. Um, but I, I don't feel, I, I don't, like, brag about it or anything. Now, Wes has been out of the hospital for months, but he still comes back regularly, not as a patient, but as an inspiration. Wes's doctor remembers the first time he saw him show up with a guitar. I was sat next to him walking into the dining room where the patients are with his guitar and he's saying, I'm coming up to play for them. It wasn't that he was asked or that was scheduled or that was planned. It's what Wesley wanted to do. He knew what they needed. Wes says these days he doesn't need anything. He says his life will be a full one, nothing missing. Now, as you saw, Wes checks back in at Adventist Rehab from time to time, plays the guitar there. He plans to return to West Virginia Wesleyan College this fall. Remember, his accident happened just six months ago. He's already talking, ladies, about getting back out on the ski slope. And you know what? After watching that, I believe it. I mean, yeah. you know, I expect to see him back out there. It makes you feel a little guilty about any minor complaint you might have. No, it does. It does. Yeah. You know, with everything he's been through, we understand it's helped him decide what he wants to do with the rest of his life. It has, absolutely. He has been a physics major all along, but now he says he knows that he wants a career in biomedical engineering. He is determined to build the perfect prosthesis so that there are no limits on what people can do. Unreal. Great story. We wish him the best. Yeah. All right. That's great. Great Thank story. You. Thank you. Bye.